Somebody like tell me what the hell that is. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Classified Captures. Today's episode promises to bring you all the thrills, scares, entertainment, and paranormal education you could ever hope for. You know what? Enough talk. Let's jump right in. Our first clip of the day comes from the United States, because, well, why not? A family recorded this strange event on their ring doorbell camera. The video shows a mysterious creature with no hair, big, dark eyes, and strange teeth. The online community has been buzzing with each comment trying to define and describe what the creature might be. Some stated that it might be a cat or hairless raccoon while recording these comments. Well, I wondered where these comments were coming from. I mean, it doesn't even look like a cat. The first thing that comes to mind when I saw it was Hooper from the Bugs Life animation movie. Tell me the resemblance isn't uncanny. Our hypothesis is simple. It has to be a grasshopper. I mean, Hooper was a grasshopper, right? But then again, you have to wonder, why is it at their door? Is he regular? Could there be something going on here that we're not privy to? Share your thoughts in the comments section. No, you who aren't seeing things. Someone has actually attached a mysterious device to a cockroach and hooked it up to a computer to allow him to control the insect's movements with a phone. Yeah, you heard it right, and obviously you can see it too. He's actually staring a cockroach with a few taps on a phone. Take a moment to absorb that. If they can do this with the roach, what's next? How is he even doing this? Well, no one actually knows, and a user named Resile007 suggests frequencies might be involved. He also adds a bit of conspiracy when he states that we might have been subtly influenced by such technologies for years without realizing it. The thought of that is scary, to say the least. As the debate continues, an unsettling question hangs. Is this just the beginning? Are we to expect more? Are human trials next? Wait. Could they have already started it? You know what? I'd pause here and hear from you guys. <laughs> this video surfaced online showing a bizarre incident where an object resembling a cylinder fell from the sky and landed in a forest. The impact was accompanied by a resounding boom, followed by a fiery explosion. Naturally, everyone was wondering what it could be. Some believe it's fake, whereas others believe it's very real. The skeptics believe it could be a result of skillful video editing, while others suggest it might be a part of a satellite that fell from space. Technically speaking, though, if it was a satellite that came from outside our atmosphere, it would burn up on re-entry. The only plausible explanation is that it fell from something flying within our atmosphere. A plane, maybe. At least, that's according to know-it-all Julius. What's your theory? Hold on to your hat for this next clip, because it may be the creepiest and most mysterious encounter captured on a night security cam. This guy was chilling by the roadside when, out of the blue, an unseen force gave him a solid shove backwards. Now most people would be pretty startled, right? Well, this guy takes it up a notch. He gets all worked up, grabs a stone, and starts pointing and threatening the air as if he's got a bone to pick with an invisible opponent. But here's the twist. If you scrutinize the footage, there's a momentary appearance of hazy white orbs right when the man experiences the push, vanishing almost as quickly as they materialize. What makes it strange is that the man's reaction has some folks wondering if he might be onto whatever invisible entity pulled off the stunt. So what could it be? Some people pointed out that this could be a djinn. 
A jinn, also known as a genie, is a supernatural creature in Islamic mythology and theology. According to Islamic folklore, jinn are believed to inhabit remote or desolate areas, and encounters with them can be both beneficial and dangerous. Some jinn are considered mischievous or malevolent, while others may be benevolent and helpful. In this case, it seems like the man encountered a rather mischievous one. Do you believe in aliens? Before you say no, watch this footage. Back in the 1990s, a UFO sighting in Varguina, Brazil, was accompanied by an alleged alien encounter. The military observed strange crafts in the sky that were eventually shot down. Upon reaching the crash site, they reportedly retrieved an alien and placed it in a box. The creature had huge red eyes and appeared lifeless on the ground. At the time of the incident, not much information was reported, and it seems the government made efforts to keep it under wraps. The authenticity of this event remains a subject of debate. Some believe it to be a genuine alien encounter, while others argue that it could be a hoax or a misinterpretation of conventional phenomena. The lack of substantial evidence and the secretive nature of the incident contributed to the mystery surrounding the Varguina UFO sighting. What do you think of it? Take a look at this footage. A woman comes home from grocery shopping and is about to wash her strawberries, but something rather unusual happens. As soon as she touches the strawberry, the tap starts flowing. Her tap uses sensors, so when you tap or touch the faucet, the water flows. However, in this case, when she taps the strawberry, which is in the sink, the water flows. So the question on everyone's mind, how in the world is this happening? Sensor thing. And here's some strawberries. Nothing happens when I touch the box, but when I touch a strawberry, Is it some quirky glitch in the matrix, or could there be a scientific explanation lurking beneath the surface? One possibility might be that the strawberries somehow triggered the sensor. It could be due to the conductivity of the fruit, or perhaps some kind of residual moisture on the woman's hands. Alternatively, it might be a coincidence or an unforeseen interaction between the strawberry and the sensor technology. Please don't come at me for this explanation. I came up with it without Julius, and I must say I'm proud of myself. There's also the possibility that our fruits have been messed with, but that makes me sound like a conspiracy theorist. Anyway, what are your thoughts on this intriguing phenomenon? Please do share them in the comments section. A man was knee-deep in construction work on the mountains, diligently breaking and clearing the terrain, when he began to feel rather uneasy. Suddenly, he glances up and spots something on a distant peak. Behold, the silhouette of a colossal creature covered from head to toe in what appeared to be thick fur. He was not one for superstitions, but he wondered, could this be the legendary Bigfoot towering and observing as a human transforms its mountainous abode? He doesn't know, but that's exactly what he felt was happening. If the footage is to be believed, it does look like the big guy doesn't like it one bit. What do you think? If you haven't already hit the like button, subscribed, or even dropped a comment so far, could you please do so now? It goes a long way to help us make more of these videos for you. Thank you so much. Now back to today's episode. In Charlotte, North Carolina, a man captured this peculiar sight in the sky, a fiery object with a trail of smoke falling. Uncertain whether it was a plane on fire or something falling from space, he posted it online where viewers offered various speculations. Some suggested it could be a plane that caught fire mid-flight, but others disagreed. Some also suggested that it might be an unidentified aerial phenomenon shot down. The fact that this wasn't covered by any news agency made the whole thing even more mysterious than it ought to be. Adding to the mystery, the object didn't seem to be landing or crashing, instead it continued to move and navigate through the sky. That's definitely not how falling objects behave, right? 
What are your thoughts on this unexplained phenomenon? What? Billionaires are prepping luxury doomsday bunkers with moats that set on fire. Lately, there's been a lot of news about billionaires worldwide investing in building underground bunkers. Reports indicate that some have already started constructing these bunkers equipped with advanced facilities. These underground hideouts are rumored to have amenities such as parking for yachts and submarines, along with high-tech security systems that can withstand external attacks. Some think that they're preparing for World War II, while many others are wondering if something significant is happening behind the scenes. What do you think? I'm excavating. It's going down. Y'all know how I love real estate and I usually like to build and go up. We're going underground now. Still on these bunkers, Rick Ross recently took to social media to announce that he's having a bunker built, joining a list of celebrities who have been constructing bunkers around the world. This trend of public figures investing in bunkers raises questions. Why the surge in the interest in bunkers? And what do they know that we don't? The fact that multiple celebrities are opting for bunker construction might evoke a sense of doomsday prepping. As the trend continues, it's unclear if these preparations are motivated by specific imminent threats or if it's simply a matter of personal preference for increased security and seclusion. What do you think? I got a water maker. We got our canned goods. So if you're thinking the brothers ain't ready, we ready. A group of people in Brazil had a puzzling experience while driving near a forest. They noticed what seemed like a fire and decided to stop and help put it out. Instead of a regular fire, however, they found a vertical humanoid-shaped entity emitting a bright glow. Strangely enough, there was no smoke and nothing around it seemed to be catching fire. The sight made them all feel uneasy and they hesitated to get any closer. That's with the exception of one person, of course. There's always that one person. This individual tried to approach it, but the rest of the group warned him to stay back. They were very scared and unsure of what could happen. Besides, they didn't know whether it was a dangerous entity or something else entirely. Having seen the footage, what do you think we could be dealing with? <laughs> Take a look at this intriguing image. The Pope was captured with a peculiar symbol on his robe resembling an alien. The Pope is a symbol of religious authority, so why would he have an alien-like symbol on his robe? Does it hint at the existence of these otherworldly beings? On the contrary, some suggest that the symbol might be a cultural sign from a country he visited, worn as a gesture of respect. This brings forth the possibility that the symbol holds culture. The juxtaposition of the Pope, a figure of religious importance, with a symbol resembling an alien sparks curiosity about the intention behind this choice. What are your thoughts on this mysterious symbol on the Pope's robe? This woman took some snow and melted it into a glass cup. Then she took a magnet and placed it on the cup. Look at what happens. The dark substance in the water moves toward the magnet. Is this what's in our waters? People were taken aback by this demonstration, but one viewer had quite an interesting take on it. They wrote this. Dust particles contain bits of iron from all sorts of agricultural and industrial industries. These dust particles rise up into the clouds and then come down in the form of rain or snow. Since snow is frozen water, it will hold more of these dust particles. Thus, when it snows, if you grab a handful of it and melt it into a container, you'll find dirt, iron, microplastics, and other elements. In the end, they also added that there might be whatever else the governments of the world put into the atmosphere to geoengineer our climate or potentially affect our health. What do you think? 
In the sunny state of California, a fast food revolution is underway, and it's not just about the flavor of the burgers. A pioneering fast food joint has embraced the future, going fully AI in its kitchen operations. The manager said that finding humans willing to tackle the dangerous task of flipping french fries has become a challenge of its own. Step inside and you'll witness a futuristic spectacle where culinary bots dance around the kitchen, seamlessly flipping burgers and orchestrating a symphony of sizzling fries. It's a dazzling display of technological prowess, but what does this mean for humans? I don't know about you, but that's another human job taken over by AI. In this clip, we can see a strange looking pot on the ground and someone puts a stick in the pot and it catches fire. When this footage was shared, the person labeled it free energy. He was able to light a match by touching it to the strange pot. Energy has been one of the most important aspects of technology and civilization with people going through all means to acquire it. And you're telling me that just this pot can generate fire? Well, how's that even possible? Well, he lifts the lid of the pot, and inside is a tiny red pebble at the center. Well, I don't know how it's related to the fire, but it's in the pot. The person doing the demonstration puts a tester into the pot, and it lights up, indicating that there is power in it. He puts a bulb in it, and that also lights up. The science behind this video may be perplexing, but the demonstration is undeniably fascinating. The ability of this pot to seemingly generate energy and produce fire raises intriguing questions about its mechanics and potential applications. Some, however, think the whole thing is a hoax. I'm part of that sum. What about you? A woman was walking her dog in the park when she came across these uninformed, uh, I mean uniformed men. Naturally curious, she starts asking one of them questions. This guy pulls out a radio and calls for backup. Out of nowhere, a man shows up, his name scrawled on a piece of duct tape slapped on his reflective vest. What rank are you? What's your name and badge number? Suspicious much? You can follow him if you want, this is, you can, but is there anything I can help you with? Do you have any questions or? Yeah, what are they training? What are they hoping to learn today? Ooh, I don't know. Capabilities and any deficiencies. She begins to ask him questions, but his answers are the least bit convincing, and she's not buying them. To top it off, these guys are packing heat, actual weapons, and casually strolling around a public park. That's definitely something to be concerned about. One question, though is the woman right for probing? Just a quick reminder before the next clip comes, if you still haven't liked, commented, or subscribed, could you do so right now? You wouldn't want me to send an alien or a Bigfoot after you now, would you? Can somebody tell me what the hell that is? On a cold winter night in Albany, Kentucky, a man steps outside to feed his dog and stumbles upon mysterious prints near his home. These prints are substantial, resembling human footprints but significantly larger, suggesting a creature of considerable size and weight. Skeptics suggest the possibility of someone wearing elaborate monster shoes attempting to play a prank. On the other hand, some entertain the idea that these prints might actually belong to a truly monstrous creature. They state it might be a large bear or something more sinister. Who or what do these prints belong to? Share your thoughts in the comment section. You might have my dog. I'm gonna go look at this shit. This man shared an unusual experience online. According to him, a plane repeatedly flew over his house, dropping tiny pellets all over his property. The perplexing behavior of the aircraft circling back to repeat the process naturally made him worried and curious. He uploaded the footage online and a gardener who viewed the footage mentioned a similar occurrence in Minnesota where planes were reportedly spraying strange chemicals in the air. This activity was described as damaging crops and making farming nearly impossible. Other individuals also shared similar accounts. So why is this happening? First, we got people building suspicious bunkers, and now this. Destroying crops? <laughs> I mean, what's next? 
Ever wondered how offshore drilling stations remain anchored and don't float away? Someone has built a model to shed light on this engineering marvel. The explanation involves filling the pockets of oil with air to balance the pressure inside the pocket when oil is retrieved, preventing it from collapsing. Additionally, these pockets are filled with waste material, specifically seabed material, to provide additional stability. While this engineering solution appears to be effective in preventing the structures from floating away, concerns may arise about the environmental impact of using waste seabed material. The model aims to strike a balance between maintaining stability and environmental safety. Scientists assert that the method is considered safe, although ongoing scrutiny and assessment of environmental consequences are essential. Wondering why I added this? Well, I thought it would be a cool thing to know. Take a look at this amusing footage. A cat owner caught their cat singing along to a song. The cat sings perfectly along with the song. Now, it's got me wondering, can cats actually communicate or understand us? I mean, if this feline friend loved a tune enough to join in, what else could they be hiding up their fur sleeves? Can they belt out a whole repertoire of songs, or maybe even drop some perfectly tuned meows? I guess we may never know. Next, we have this clip that was shared by a lady. What the f That is not a goddamn airplane. Why the f is it so f***ing close? What? She spotted this enormous craft in the night sky. You can't see the craft itself, but the glow from its lights give you an idea of just how massive it is. What's intriguing is how close it is to the buildings, and there are two of them. You can tell from the woman's tone that she's freaking out and is convinced that these aren't human-made crafts. Now it's got us all wondering, what could these mysterious crafts be? Do you think there's something otherworldly going on, or is there a more down-to-earth explanation for this nighttime spectacle? Share your thoughts. The lights is off. I don't know what the fuck this is. I don't know what the hell is going on. Our next clip comes from Brooklyn, New York. In the clip, you can see a shadow cast on the buildings, but when you look up, there's nothing there. There's absolutely no object that should be casting such a shadow. So how is this shadow there? Do you remember the movie, Nope, This Gives Such Vibes? Some believe that this could be the shadow of an alien craft cloaked from the human eye. I mean, it sounds like a good explanation, don't you think? There's also the possibility that it could be atmospheric conditions, reflections, or some unknown natural phenomena creating unusual shadows. That I doubt, however. What are your thoughts on this mysterious shadow over Brooklyn, New York? There have been talks of scientific attempts to open portals to other dimensions. In this clip, a cloud shaped like a large donut is seen resembling a portal. Naturally, this has resurrected the subject on paranormal platforms. Much of this portal discussion is associated with the CERN Collider, where rumors suggest that there have been attempts to open such gateways. The Mandela Effect has also been linked to the CERN machine. Rumors and testimonies suggest that we learned of this technology in the Montauk Tunnels. Montauk Tunnels likely refer to the Montauk Project, a series of alleged secret U.S. government projects. These claims are, however, largely considered to be conspiracy theories and they lack substantial evidence. Back to the clip, what do you think could be happening here? Please share your thoughts in the comments section. Now this is one for the books. Yep, that's a cow somehow wedged between the branches of a tree. The official word is that it happened during a flood. But hold on, a closer look at the footage and things might not add up as expected. The question on everyone's mind, what in the world is going on here? Floods typically leave behind visible signs of their impact, such as displaced vegetation, mud, or debris. Looking at the footage, I don't see any of that. 
It's also essential to consider the possibility that the floodwaters may have receded, leaving less obvious signs of their presence. What's your take on this baffling scenario, though? Do you think the floods are truly responsible, or could the cow have miscalculated its jump over the moon? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Have you ever watched a movie and seen people using disguises to break into places? What happens when the disguise isn't human but canine? Confused? Allow me to explain. This footage looks like a cute dog trying to get into his home, right? Would you believe me if I told you that the owner who recorded the footage stated that the dog was already inside the house? So if the dog is already in the house, how could there be another that looks exactly like it trying to break into the house? That's a question we'll never truly know the answer to because the owner never opened the door. He went in and confirmed that his dog was truly indoors. Once the footage was uploaded online, all who saw it believed it was a skinwalker. Given the evidence we're presented with, I'm tempted to believe that hypothesis. A skinwalker could have been trying to lure the owner out using his dog and then unalive him, or worse. What do you think? A spooky meeting with the mysterious woman in the forest left the group of friends both worried and confused. On that night, as they were driving through the thick woods, they unexpectedly came across a puzzling figure on the side of the road. Intrigued but frightened, they decided to drive around and check it out, only to find her sitting on the ground, wet, with her legs spread out. Overcome with fear, the friends quickly left, going back home to make sense of the strange incident. The next day, fueled by curiosity, they returned to the spot where they encountered her. To their surprise, the area where the woman had been was wet, and as they explored the woods, they found a dugout spot in a nearby river. This unnerving encounter raises a multitude of questions. Who was the mysterious woman, and why was she there on that unforgettable night? Next, we have a security camera that recently captured an intriguing yet eerie scene. The footage reveals a dog standing on the balcony, attentively observing the surroundings. Suddenly, a pair of mysterious legs clad in black pants dashes across the frame. Strangely, instead of reacting with alarm, the dog wags its tail seemingly unfazed and tracks the movement of the legs. This raises an interesting question. Could this be a hoax? Typically, animals are known to be sensitive to paranormal activity, and one might expect the dog to bark or exhibit signs of distress. However, the dog's seemingly nonchalant response prompts skepticism. One possible explanation could be that the legs belong to a spirit or entity familiar to the dog. Now that I say it out loud, it sounds like a stretch, but what do you think about the whole thing? Hold on to your hats because we're about to dive into the mystery of the floating house. How on earth, or well, in this case, in the middle of the ocean, did a house end up there? Did it decide it wanted an oceanfront property and just set sail one day? Maybe it's the world's first seafaring home, cruising the high seas in search of the perfect view. Perhaps there's a whimsical explanation behind it, like a grand nautical experiment gone wrong, or maybe it's the aftermath of a powerful storm that played a game of pick up and relocate with the house. One thing's for sure, stumbling upon a house out at sea is the kind of unexpected encounter that leaves you questioning the very fabric of reality. This is a dinosaur that was found frozen in ice. They thawed the ice, thinking it might be dead. But no, it jumped out and started going about its life like it would have a million years ago. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, that's not true. Behold the majestic shoebill stork, a bird so impressive that at first glance, it might seem like a creature out of a fantasy realm. But rest assured, this is no mythical creation. It's the real deal. The shoebill, native to central tropical Africa, is recognized for its distinctive shoe-shaped bill, reaching lengths of over 9 inches. 
These large birds, standing four to five feet tall, are primarily piscivorous and adept at catching fish in marshy waters. Solitary by nature, they exhibit a patient hunting style, standing motionless for extended periods. Classified as vulnerable, shoebills face threats from habitat loss and hunting. They're known to live up to 35 years in the wild. The shoebill stork is a living testament to the wonders of the avian world. With a bill that looks like it could have been borrowed from a dinosaur, this magnificent bird stands as a testament to the incredible diversity found in the animal kingdom. This next footage was sent in by someone who could swear that they had seen Bigfoot. Take a look and tell me what you think. Do you see what they see? This was recorded by an individual whose time in the woods with friends and family was suddenly interrupted by a strange beast. For some odd reason, this beast was as large as a bear, but walked on its two hind legs like a human would. Some were convinced it was a bear that managed to stay on its two feet much longer than other bears, while others were also convinced they were dealing with a Bigfoot. I know it's hard to see anything in the footage, but what do you also think we might be dealing with? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Next, we have footage from a man who believes that we are living in a simulation. After watching the footage, I can't blame him for thinking so. Take a look. You see it, don't you? How does a car this large get trapped that way between two buildings? It wouldn't have been an issue if it looked like a crash, but here we have a car facing upward between two buildings in a way that should not be possible if we're being logical. Most often, the glitch in the Matrix arguments seem far-fetched, but unless there's some avant-garde architectural design at play here, the whole scene seems like a glitch in the Matrix. I mean, cars are supposed to be on the road, not defying gravity between buildings, right? It leaves you wondering, is this an intentional installation, or did someone hit the wrong button in the reality control room? In a quiet property tucked away in the woods, surrounded by silence and solitude, a man works on his car near the trunk, unaware that a watchful security camera is capturing a mysterious event. Suddenly, from the depths of the woods, a ghostly figure appears, ethereal and otherworldly. The figure glides towards the man, bending down closely, its transparent form leaving an eerie impression. What adds to the eerie nature of this event is the man's apparent unawareness. Even with the ghostly figure so close, he carried on with his tasks without acknowledging the strange presence nearby. This leads to questions about the nature of the encounter. Again, was it a ghostly apparition, a camera illusion, or maybe something else entirely? Do you think trees can secretly talk like the toys in Toy Story? Well, the next individuals we're featuring seem to think so, even if jovially. The footage starts off with two friends leisurely walking through the woods. After introducing themselves, they introduce us to an unusual sight. There, on a tree, is a face. Not the kind of face like patterns you sometimes see on a tree, but an actual face protruding from the bark. It has what looks like eyes, a unique nose, and an open mouth. The remarkable part? It doesn't appear man-made. The features seem to naturally emerge from the tree's bark. While the two friends jest and tease, you have to wonder, is this just a quirk of nature, a tree with an unusual growth, or could there be a more mystical explanation, like a possessed tree? Next, we have this bizarre but scary image. Take a look. That's a ghostly looking being, right? I mean, you don't have to be a believer of the paranormal to see it, but how is this possible? Well, no one knows for certain, but this image was captured by a man who had freshly moved into the neighborhood. 
For security reasons, I'd leave out the exact location, but instead of capturing the local wildlife, he was left with disturbing images such as this. Do you think the locals are messing with him, or has he truly moved to a haunted spot? Share your thoughts with us in the comment section. In a tale that highlights the untamed instincts of the wild, a man raised a coyote as an unconventional pet and decided to take it den digging one day. Once in its natural habitat, however, something changed. The creature, perhaps stirred by the call of the wild, seemed to forget its domesticated life and to the surprise of its owner, turned less receptive playfully. Hey, hey little coyote, ow, come here, can we be friends? Can we, ouch? A man plays along and even puts his hands in the mouth of the coyote. If that doesn't scream trust and cute, I don't know what would. If you loved Headless Nick in the Harry Potter series, then perhaps you might enjoy this next one. This footage was sent in by a man who claimed to have still been shaking from the experience of being in the same place as the being on your screen. Looking at the footage, I can understand why he felt like that. I mean, how else do you explain this? A man walking who appears to have either left his head at home or been beheaded. Is this the ghost or reappearance of someone who suffered a violent crime, or are we merely dealing with an otherworldly creature trying to take a human form? It's hard to say, but some of my team members also believe it might be an optical illusion meant to deceive. Which of these options do you think it might be? Before we move on to the next video, just another reminder, if you still haven't liked, commented, or subscribed to the channel yet, please do so now. I wouldn't want to send a Bigfoot after you. And don't forget to share it with your friends and family as well. Thank you very much. A man was sitting in his home, pressing his phone and watching YouTube videos and, you know, TikToks and all that kind of stuff. After some minutes, he feels an eerie presence in the room, looks up and sees the dog you see on your screen. He tries to keep his composure and films to make sure he's not seeing things. Aside from the whole thing being spooky and surprising, the dog puts on some facial expression that sends chills down his spine. As if it was not strange enough seeing an unknown dog in your room, having it look at you like that will certainly not feel good. We're not exactly sure how he escaped the situation, but he believes he was visited by a skinwalker. What do you think? Delving into the realm of UFO sightings, a notable piece of footage emerged in 2013, which is now going viral due to the various alien conspiracy theories. A passenger aboard an aircraft captured an intriguing formation of lights. These mysterious lights were arranged to create a triangle pattern which brings to mind nothing but UFOs. Initially, the lights remained stationary, casting a glow across the sky. However, when they eventually started to move, the coordination was so precise that it suggested a single unified craft. The catch? Human-made aircraft don't typically fit the bill for this triangular formation. Left with no conventional explanation, the footage fuels speculation that what was captured in those skies might just be a UFO, an unidentified flying object potentially of extraterrestrial origin. Yes, that's a man being dug out of the rubble. Scary, huh? I wanted to believe we were dealing with an earthquake or some natural disaster that had left people buried. But according to the narrative that came with the video, this man was actually not there by accident. He was buried alive. We don't know why, only that he was there for days before being found. The thought of being buried alive sets my claustrophobia on high, but perhaps that's just me. Either way, he must be very glad and very fortunate to have survived the whole ordeal. Looking at it a second time, do you believe the narrative the video came with, or do you think there's more that we're not being told? Share your thoughts in the comment section. In a mysterious turn of events, a security camera recorded the eerie presence of two entities floating on the street. 
These spectral figures with a ghostly, smoky appearance move in a way you would only expect otherworldly beings to move in. Once I saw the footage, especially in the quality in which it came, I wanted to believe this was nothing more than a fake. That was at least until these local dogs in the neighborhood showed up. Their reaction to the floating object made me believe it could actually be real. But if it's real, what were those things? Why were they there, and how were they able to move like that? We start today with a fascinating one. This footage, captured in Italy, features a remarkable marine creature known as the Blanket Octopus. Blanket octopi are extraordinary marine creatures celebrated for their vibrant colors and distinctive features. The females of this species boast a striking, long, cape-like webbing that stretches between their arms, resembling a flowing blanket. This adaption is believed to have several purposes, including intimidating potential threats and enhancing their ability to capture prey more effectively. Encounters with such fascinating marine life serve as a reminder of the diverse and captivating wonders that inhabit our oceans. Reports of strange creatures roaming the world have been circulating, and the latest sighting may just be the most spine-chilling one yet. An explorer driven by curiosity stumbled upon an abandoned opening in the woods during the night. Armed with a camera, he decided to document what lurked within, and the footage he captured was enough to make his blood run cold. In the dim light, a bizarre creature was discovered concealed in a ditch its dark hair protruding eerily. As the explorer approached, the creature, like a phantom, crept closer, revealing a face that would haunt your nightmares. The creature possessed a human-like face, its wet, black hair clinging to its features, yet the remainder of its body defies description, bony and withered arms, a contorted form, and an unsettling gait. While some speculate it might be a skinwalker, others argue it's nothing more than a CGI creation. What do you think sounds more probable? Have you ever had the experience where blood just suddenly started flowing from your tap? Well, if you answered no, you wouldn't be alone. But for the one recording this footage, it's a real life occurrence. How would you feel if this suddenly started flowing from your pipes? I know I would freak out. As much as we love the intrigue and want this to be blood, there are some in our office that believe it might just be dirt because blood is thicker. Looking at it, I can see where they're coming from. But what do you think? Blood? Dirt? Or an elaborate hoax? Share your thoughts. If you found that shocking, then perhaps this next one might blow your mind. Yep, that's a man walking on water. I would have thought it was a prank if the one recording wasn't sitting in a boat. Clearly, this is the middle of the ocean, which leaves me with one question. How? But I guess that's a question I should be comfortable with not getting an answer to. What say you? In the depths of the unknown, where shadows linger and mysteries unfold, we kick off today's episode with a spine-chilling encounter. A man seeking solace in a park under the night sky stumbled upon a peculiar entity. Across the road beneath the shadow of a tree, a mysterious creature was seen crawling toward him. The camera struggled to focus, but the creature's unsettling silhouette could still be seen and it suggested an otherworldly being on the move. Due to the blurry nature of the footage, however, it's hard to say what exactly we're dealing with. A part of me wants to believe it's truly a skinwalker, but then again, we can't see much. What do you think? Bears are incredibly powerful beings and they can exert considerable force when motivated. In this video, a bear demonstrated its strength by breaking through a locked door. 
This behavior is not uncommon for bears, especially if they're attracted to something inside or if they associate human habitation with a potential food source. It's a reminder that when residing in areas where bears are common, it's essential to take proper precautions to secure homes. This is crucial for ensuring the safety of both humans and wildlife. Understanding bear behavior and putting in place measures to minimize interactions helps create a safer environment for everyone involved. Enter the perplexing world of shattered glass mysteries. A girl, after retrieving a broken glass from the dishwasher, decides to play detective and reconstruct the puzzle of the glass shard. To her bewilderment, as she diligently tried to piece it back together, something wasn't quite adding up. Despite her efforts to align the shard, it stubbornly refused to fit back in its original place. Turning it around only added to the confusion, as the broken piece seemingly defied the laws of glass puzzle logic. Even when it almost fit, there was a strange twist. The shard had to be inverted, a move that seemed to defy the natural order of things. This mind-bending scenario leaves us with a glass puzzle that seems to have a secret language of its own. Next, let's talk about the Great Black Wasp. Ever seen a wasp dressed with brass in a sleek all-black ensemble? Well, that's the Great Black Wasp for you. These remarkable insects are a stunning sight with dark iridescent wings and an impressive size. We're talking about an insect and can be over an inch long. Now, that's no ordinary wasp. But here's the thing. Despite their intimidating appearance, these wasps are usually not aggressive towards humans. They might look like they mean business, but they're generally more interested in their wasp activities, like hunting for nectar and pollinating flowers. So if you ever come across one of these great black wasps buzzing around you, you could admire the beauty of nature without worrying too much about an impromptu aerial duel. Next, let's jump into the wild and peculiar world of mysterious events. Here we have a cloud. Yes, a cloud, just casually, rolling along a metal pavement at the side of the road. I mean, what in the world is happening with that cloud? Did it decide it had enough of the sky and wanted to go on a road trip? Perhaps it's the latest mode of transportation for clouds. Move over airplanes, here comes the rolling cloud express. But uh, joking aside, clouds are supposed to float high in the sky, not roll around like tumbleweeds. Maybe this cloud had a long day and needed a break. Can clouds even get tired? I didn't think they had legs, let alone the ability to roll on the ground. On a more serious note though, this might just be some clever camera work or CGI trickery. Mother Nature can be pretty unpredictable, but clouds going on a road joyride might be stretching it. Whatever it is, it certainly grabbed our attention. What would you do if you found a bear right outside your tent? You know what? Hold that thought. Watch this. What was meant to be a peaceful camping retreat turned into a wild encounter with nature gone wrong. A man seeking to enjoy his time in the great outdoors set up camp in a serene spot. The night passed without incident, but the next morning came with an unexpected twist. As he unzips his tent, expecting the usual sight of trees and sunlight, he's met with a furrier neighbor than anticipated, a bear standing just inches away. In a split second, he retreats into the safety of his tent, zipping it up tight. It seems, however, that the furry intruder wasn't ready to end the conversation. The bear starts growling and scratching at the tent, evidently curious about the new camper in the neighborhood. Faced with a bear trying to turn his tent into an impromptu bear cave, the camper resorts to a bold move, yelling. Ah! 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 Miraculously, the tactic works and the bear, perhaps startled by the unexpected noise, decides to abandon the chat. 
Luck was certainly on the hiker's side that day. Lesson learned. Sometimes surviving a camping trip means not just communing with nature, but also convincing it to keep a respectful distance. If you have been to a stadium, then you know that this is definitely not how running through a crowd works. Yet that's exactly what the uploader of the footage says we're dealing with here. Looking at the footage, it sounds almost believable. After all, we see a figure, or possibly a person, moving at such a high speed until he gets to what should have been a stop. But somehow, he miraculously jumps to the other side. When I watched this, I believe it was one of two things. It was either a glitch in the Matrix or CGI. I wanted to believe it was a glitch in the Matrix till my little assistant mentioned it could be the shadow of the overhead camera. That just killed all the hypothesis I had prepared. But what do you think? Glitch, CGI, or the shadow of the camera? A rider cruising through a wooded path was met with a curious sight, a peculiar figure standing on the ground mere inches tall. Clocking in at about a foot in height, this tiny being stood motionless on the road. The rider, struck by an unusual encounter, entertains the notion that it could be a jinn, a concept rooting in Islamic beliefs as mischievous spirits. Yet upon closer inspection, the creature appears to be more plant-like, nestled on the side of the path. The juxtaposition of its small stature against the forest backdrop raises questions about its true nature. Is it a mere botanical oddity, or could it harbor a supernatural and malevolent entity? I guess we'll never know. Imagine getting home and being greeted with a scene like this. Birds flying just above your home and then dive bombing into it. For the one recording this footage, it was no hypothetical situation, it actually happened. It left him confused and shocked as he couldn't believe what was going on. Some who saw this told him his house was probably cursed or haunted. Some also thought that it had to be a logical explanation. But looking at the whole thing, what logical explanation could you possibly come up with? None, right? I want to believe the curse bit, but what do you think? Venturing out to capture the serene beauty of mountain greenery, a man found himself unexpectedly turning his lens towards the unknown. Behind a rocky outcrop, a creature reminiscent of the elusive Bigfoot made a brisk appearance striding across the open field. The one who shared the footage online claimed it was his personal encounter with a Bigfoot. Critically, looking at the footage, however, this Bigfoot looks too human. Its body isn't that big, and its movement is more human than creature. Its muscle makeup and all others make it look like it's nothing more than a human in a costume. Personally, I see no Bigfoot. What about you? Still on the bazaar, do you believe in aliens? If your answer was the stereotypical no, then how do you explain this? This footage was recorded by a pilot mid-flight. He noticed a strange glowing orb keeping up with him, and once he tried to record, it somehow shot up into orbit at insane speeds. Currently, there are no human crafts remotely capable of moving at such high speeds, which leaves us wondering, was that supernatural, or could we be potentially dealing with an alien craft disguised in that manner? My money's on the alien. What about you? Do you believe that merfolk exist? What about Atlantis? Well, whatever your belief system, you might want to see this. I know what you're seeing can be confusing, but relax. According to the locals here, you're actually looking at a mermaid's preserved corpse. Yeah, that's right. But if Disney and all we've learned from animations are to be believed, mermaids shouldn't look this despicable and scary. Turns out, real-life depictions of mermaids have them sometimes looking like this. Scary, but this is what they might supposedly look like in real life. Well, it's hard to verify the claims of these individuals who've actually put it on display. 
It's interesting to see since almost everyone in the footage believes that's the real deal. If this many people went to see it, that means it's real, right? Share your thoughts. Next, check out this wild discovery in the woods. Here we have a creature that defies the norms of nature. At first glance, this looks like your everyday deer, but a closer look will reveal there's more to this critter than meets the eye. Noteworthy are the peculiar features adorning its face, curious holes that seem to come to life with each breath, casting an otherworldly aura upon the creature. Believe it or not, locals call it the Muntjac Deer. The Muntjac Deer, colloquially known as Barking Deer, a small-sized cervids primarily found in South and Southeast Asia. Distinguished by their modest antlers, these adaptable creatures inhabit a range of environments from tropical forests to human settlements. Their females give birth to one or two fawns multiple times a year. So that's just a little about these creatures. As incredible and distinguished as they might sound, you can't deny the fact that they're creepy looking if you aren't used to seeing them. In a fascinating discovery near the Pacific Northwest, a video captured the presence of a mysterious miniature humanoid-like insect. The creature's face resembled that of an insect complete with antenna, but its body poses, well, intriguing questions. The insect appears to have two standing legs, broad shoulders, and an upright torso that distinguishes it from the usual appearance of insects. This unusual discovery brings up many questions, making us consider the possibility of hidden realms. Either that, or we may potentially be dealing with the discovery of a remarkable new species. What do you think? Have you ever had one of those days where you were walking and then all of a sudden, some invisible force out of nowhere pulls you to the ground? Well, me neither. For the man in this footage, however, it looks like that's exactly what happened. He was going about his business like he would and should on an ordinary day when some sort of invisible being or force pulled him down. I analyzed his shadow to see if perhaps it was a camera trick with others pulling him, but found nothing. Could this be the real deal? If it is, why would he be the target of an invisible being or ghost? Or did he take the person's job? It's hard to say, but share your thoughts in the comment section. In a refreshing contrast to the unsettling, our next footage takes us into the mystique of the woods where a trail camera captured an extraordinary scene. Late at night, an ethereal being, radiant with illumination, gracefully glided through the surroundings. Its shape defied conventional definition, a formless glow moving with an otherworldly elegance. Speculation arose amongst skeptics, suggesting that this radiant entity might be an angel. The way it glowed and moved fueled the imagination, inspiring thoughts of celestial beings gracing the depths of the woods. Is this truly a celestial visitation, a play of light, or perhaps a trick of the lance? Share your thoughts with me. Imagine always hearing strange noises coming from outside your home and yet seeing no one. This happened to the owner of the motion camera that captured the footage you're seeing. He set up these cameras, hoping to finally catch the individuals responsible for playing those weird pranks and jokes at odd and ungodly hours. The only thing he ended up capturing was this ungodly footage. You can see the invisible men moving too, right? Do you have any logical explanations for it? Members of the paranormal activity believe we may be dealing with ghosts, while the scientific and logical bunch believe it could be CGI. We have reviewed the footage several times and we believe it could go both ways. Since you've seen them with your own eyes, what do you think it is? Tell us in the comments section. We'll be reading. 
Exploration often pushes people to their physical and mental limits, showing the thin line between bravery and risk. But as I'm getting closer, I realize it's an illusion. In this case, a bald explorer entered a cave, maneuvering through tight spaces that got smaller over time. The cramped conditions, along with water on the ground, created a tough and potentially dangerous situation. Despite the increasing challenges, the explorer kept going until he reached a point where he got stuck in the narrow part of the cave. The struggle to free himself from this situation must have been tough, requiring both physical strength and mental toughness. While the explorer's courage in the face of difficulty is admirable, it raises questions about managing risks. Explorations, especially in tough environments, need careful safety considerations and awareness of one's limits. Technology, our modern ally in capturing the extraordinary, recently played a crucial role in unveiling our next clip, which is nothing short of a dramatic scene. Picture this, a person navigating their drone camera through the snowy aftermath of a heavy snowstorm in the woods when suddenly the lens catches a man in frantic escape. What's chasing him? None other than a colossal bear. As the drone approaches for a closer look, the bear mid-pursuit takes notice of the flying intruder. In a moment of shared recognition, the bear turns to acknowledge the airborne spectator before resuming its chase. The fate of the man remains uncertain, but it is our hope that he managed to outrun the bear and find safety. Have you ever seen snakes tango? Well, if you haven't, this is the closest you may get. I know what you're seeing is very strange and disturbing, but believe me when I tell you, it's not as charming as it looks. These snakes are each trying to have each other's heads, literally. They keep going at it until one was smacked on the head so strong that it hit the rocks and ended up stunned. After a few seconds, it recovers and slithers away in shame. Talk about the slither of shame. Whatever you do, don't ever go near these kinds of snakes if you ever stumble on them doing this. A bite from these could land you in hospital or worse. Yes, it's mesmerizing, but stay away from them as much as possible. During a speedboat ride through the forested lake, the delight of nature took an unexpected turn for a group of people when they came across a mama bear and her cubs in their natural home. Run! Once the watchful mama bear noticed the approaching adventurers, she saw them as potential threats to her cubs' safety. Reacting instinctively, the bear started chasing them, prompting the startled adventurers to act quickly. Recognizing the urgency, they raised their voices, shouting and screaming to discourage the protective mama bear. <coughs> In the end, the combination of human noise and the loud boat worked as a deterrent, successfully guiding the bear away from the perceived threat. This surprising encounter added an exciting twist to their natural adventure, reminding everyone of the unpredictable and awe-inspiring aspects of encounters with wildlife. In the dead of night, a man found himself under the watchful gaze of two pairs of glowing eyes tracking his every move. The darkness obscured the identity of the mysterious observers, leaving him in a state of uncertainty. What he could discern hinted at something otherworldly, a faint outline of a pale creature, low to the ground, moving stealthily. Questions lingered in the night air. Was it the infamous Rake, a creature of urban legend known for lurking in the shadows? Or could it be a case of misidentification, a nocturnal being innocent in its nocturnal activities? What do you think this is? A wraith? A washed-up demon? Some otherworldly creature taking form in our world? Well, if any of these and more crossed your mind, you won't be the only one. Many in the paranormal community thought so too. We did some digging around only to realize that we were looking at the image all wrong. It was the backside of a pup after all. Who would have thought? If this teaches us anything, it's that perspective matters in life. Think about it. If you've made it this far, could you please hit the like button, subscribe, and even drop a comment if you haven't already. It goes a long way to make it possible to create more videos for you. 
Thank you for doing so. Moving back to the day's episode. Step into the future with the Tesla Bot. This cutting-edge robot promises to tackle your daily chores at home, conquer yard work, and even handle those repetitive office tasks. Rumor has it that this futuristic household assistant comes with a price tag of around $20,000. Now, the buzz surrounding this technological marvel is not just fascinating, but also a tad alarming. It goes beyond the idea of AI potentially replacing human workers. It's about the intelligence embedded in these robots. Even Elon Musk, the alleged brains behind these bots, has expressed concerns about AI evolving to a point where it surpasses human intelligence. While I'd want to believe these could be real, I'm a bit skeptical about them. It would be weird for Elon, who has been concerned about the dangers of AI, to suddenly start producing robots that have them incorporated. What's more, I couldn't find any official information on these bots. Is someone trying to mislead us, or is Tesla doing these things under the wraps? Share your thoughts in the comments section. And with that, we end today's episode. Thanks for staying with us. Before you go, are there popular trail cams you've come across that you think we should absolutely feature on this channel? Please tell us in the comments section. If you personally have odd footage you recorded yourself, you can forward it to us at classifiedcaptures at gmail.com. We'll do the needful analysis and include it in our next episode. We'll also give you credit with it unless, of course, you want to remain anonymous we can wait to receive your clips. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends and family. See you in the next one.